This is Edessa. Although it might look like it, this is not a natural landscape. It wasn't always there. In fact, it was man-made during the Middle Ages as a breeding ground for cattle. The Deesa is an ecosystem created from the interaction between man and the Mediterranean forest. It's a typical area found in Spain, which has around 3.5 million hectares of Deesas. They are most abundant in the southeast of the peninsula, in the Extremadura and Andalusia regions. The Deesa represents a complex balance of various elements. It must have an acorn producing tree, such as the holm oak, as well as pastures and shrubs, which cover at least 50% of its surface. And last but not least, animals. This is where the Iberian pig is reared, a unique species to this area, in which gets nourishment from acorns and whose meat is the basis of products such as Iberian ham. The Deesa has survived for centuries but now it is sick. In the last 10 years, in Andalusia alone, almost half a million holm oaks have disappeared. The situation is mirrored in Extremadura. One of the reasons for this is that people are cutting down the trees and substituting them with more profitable crops, a practice that has been illegal for decades. However, the Deesa continues to be threatened. Now the reason is a disease called La Seca, or oak dieback. It originates from a type of fungi named Phytothora cinnamomi. For four or five years now, we've had enormous outbreaks that have cost us up to 30% of the total Holm oak area. Right now, we are not seeing Seca here, but further up this year, we've had to cut down 400 Holm oaks in 20 hectare hectares. It is creating an economic and a long-term problem for us. This is the sweet oak. We've had it since 1850 as an emblem for the farm. Three years ago, an outbreak of Seca started. We have been able to stop it, but this is just one hectare. We've spent 3,000 euros in three years. The Phytothora is an omicyte, grouped as pseudofungi. It attacks tree roots and is particularly aggressive with the holm oak. In a matter of months, even days, it can completely dry out a hundred year old specimen. The first recorded outbreak of Seca was recorded in 1986 in Huelva, Andalusia. In the year 2000, there were 450 outbreaks in Extremadura. In 2016, the presence of Phytothora had multiplied 10 times more in Extremadura, where there were 5,000 outbreaks registered. In Andalusia today, it is calculated that for every hectare of Deesa, one tree is infected with Seca. We collaborated on a project called The Defense with the University of Huelva to find a way to resist Seca. Our hams are exported to 37 countries. They are world-renowned hams and are highly valued. Having the Deheza is essential in order to make our ham because we completely rely on the acorn as a natural resource. Without home or cork oaks, there are no acorns and a ham like ours would cease to exist. The word Phytothora has Greek origin and translates to plant destroyer. This pathogen family was first identified in Europe in 1876. Since then, it has spread throughout the world. But if it has been around for centuries, why is it killing more now? One of the reasons is climate change.
The oak dieback is worsened by the current situation of climate change. Since this pathogen becomes particularly virulent with high ground temperatures and standing water. Climate change forecasts predict a rise in temperature with which the affect areas of the pathogen could expand. Now scientists have determined that the species must learn to coexist with seca. Because of this, they are attempting to isolate the genetic code of the trees that resist and survive the condition in order to plant only resistant specimens. But there is one problem. Time. One holm oak takes 40 years to mature, from its planting to its first acorn bloom. Meanwhile, temperatures are rising, and oak decline welcomes this. Thank you.